It is Monday, October 3rd, 2022. I'm here at the Maroon Snowmass Trailhead outside Aspen, Colorado with my buddies Chad and Rex. And we are headed out for a five day backpacking trip in the Maroon Bells Wilderness. This is kind of a bucket list destination for us, especially coming here in October with the fall colors. Just what little bit we saw driving the valley up to the trailhead was absolutely beautiful. So around 6 p.m., we're getting a very late start. I just flew in earlier today and those guys picked me up at the airport. Our only goal for the day is to get in and find camp so we can get the trip started. And then tomorrow we should start getting into the good stuff. We've been hearing these guys for about the last 10 minutes and there's kind of a flat open spot off the trail to the right of us near the water, but we can't see them. Still pretty awesome. Currently about 10.45, we made it to camp around 10. This is gonna be the end of day number one. See you in the morning. Good morning, it is day number two. Last night and this morning were really cold, but the sun's finally out and warming us up. Once we started the hike yesterday and got out of the trees, it got dark and we had to put our headlamps on, which was kind of a bummer because the trail opened up to what was probably some pretty awesome views that we missed out on. It also rained most of the day yesterday, so the trail was really muddy and just kind of difficult to get across. I think we came in around two and a half miles. The plan for today is to hike up to Snowmass Lake where we plan to stay tonight. And I believe that's around six or eight miles from here. It's around 12.30, we're getting a little bit of a late start because everything was so cold and wet this morning, just took a little bit of time for the sun to hit us down here. Also, we're kind of being a bunch of slackers. Let's go check out Maroon Bells. This is pretty similar to what we saw driving in here yesterday. Probably what we hiked through last night, but couldn't see. The density of the forest here kind of reminds me of something I'd see in North Carolina back home except this mixture of aspens and evergreens is pretty awesome. That I've not seen anywhere else.
we have to cross the creek via this log jam here. And it is tricky to say the least. Here is a look down at what we just climbed up out of. Starting our big section of switchbacks for the day. Check out the moon coming up on us. It's around 7 p.m. and as you can see, we're down to our last little bit of daylight. So I'm gonna call this the end of day number two. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it is day number three. Last night was the coldest night I've had out in the woods in a while. Thankfully, all my cold weather gear held up and did its job, but it made for a long night, no doubt. We were kind of slow moving yesterday. We had to climb from around 8,500 feet up to about 11,000 where we camped. And between the elevation and a couple of the guys kind of dialing in some new gear that they had, we were moving a little bit slower than I would have liked. It was only 7.30 when we got to camp, but the days are starting to get really short this time of year, and so it was completely dark by the time we arrived. There was a little bit of light from the stars and moon, and we walked down to the lake shore and kind of got a view of the lake, but it was nothing compared to what we woke up to this morning, which was absolutely mind-blowing. Occasionally, there is a positive side to getting to camp late, which is waking up and being like wow i can't believe this is where we were all night so that was pretty fun so a little bit about the overall plan for this trip we decided to come in at the trailhead that follows snowmass creek most people who hike maroon bells don't come in that way it adds about an extra day or two to the trip we made that choice for a couple of reasons uh, number one we wanted to start the trip the day that we flew in and for us to use the main trailhead that most folks use, you have to find somewhere to park in downtown Aspen and take a bus into the trailhead. And it was just a little bit of a hassle we didn't want to deal with. We weren't really sure where we were going to go when we planned this trip. Maroon Bells was kind of the place we had in mind, but this time of year, you never know what to expect weather-wise or even wildfire-wise. So we had about half a dozen destinations in mind and we really just kind of flew into Denver and made the final choice kind of last minute. So far, I think we're all pretty satisfied with having chose to come here. Today should be a pretty easy day for us. I think we're going one and a half, two miles to the next campsite. Kind of give everybody a chill day. Should give me time to get plenty of cool shots. The last couple days, we've been mainly in pretty dense forest. There has been a few nice open spots, but 
even up to nearly 11,000 feet, the forest is super dense out here, which is kind of cool, but I've never experienced that anywhere else I've been. Think the next couple days we'll be into some big open views for the most part. A look around camp. If you don't want to backtrack, you're kind of committed to doing this whole loop, and it's not a lot mileage wise, but it's it's a little bit past 11. The guys are finishing up packing camp and we're about to head out. We're hoping to camp somewhere between here and Buckskin Pass. It looks like the trail gets away from Snowmass Creek for a little while and then intersects it again. And we're probably gonna stay somewhere around there for the night. Here's gonna be our last look at Snowmass Lake. Wish the camera picked up how clear this water is. Just gorgeous. Here is our final look at Snowmass Lake. This is from the other side of the little outlet stream. It's as beautiful a lake as I've seen anywhere. It's around 2 p.m. and we found a campsite with some pretty awesome 360 views. It's a little bit past 5 p.m. We've kind of just been hanging out and enjoying this camp area. As far as I can tell, there's nobody else really out here where we are at least. I'm kind of surprised by that. This area has a reputation for being crowded and I expected to see tons of people. That'll probably change tomorrow, but so far it's been pretty nice. Wasn't really a big day hiking wise, but we had a long last couple days, so it was nice to just kind of take a chill day and enjoy the scenery. We've got a pretty difficult day coming up ahead of us tomorrow. Here in a few, we're gonna start cooking dinner 
And then once it gets a little bit darker, we're gonna have us a nice little campfire. Good times. Good morning, we've made it to day number four. Last night was another super cold one, probably down in the low to mid 20s. So around 10 a.m., we've got camp mostly packed up. We're gonna be heading out here soon. Right off the bat, we've got a pretty difficult creek crossing to navigate. And then after that, we've got a pretty challenging day ahead. It's only five miles total, but initially we've got about two miles and 1500 feet to climb to make it up to Buckskin Pass. After that, we're gonna be dropping down for about a mile and then we have to climb another thousand feet to make it over Willow Pass and then head down to Willow Lake where we hope to camp for the night. We've hit some pretty gnarly switchbacks, but not a bad view for motivation.
I'm on my last little push to make it up buckskin here. I can see the top in plain view. And it is everything a 12,400 foot pass should be. Rock and roll. The last couple hundred feet gave me a whooping. It's like, dang it. Yeah. We just made it to the top of Buckskin Pass. We're gonna break for lunch up here and enjoy the views. Next, we've got to drop down and then we get to climb Willow Pass. We've got some partial cloud cover, but let me try to give you guys a 360 view from the pass here. Sorry for the shakiness here. I'm here at the bottom of the trail coming down from Buckskin Pass. There's a trail junction here where you could either continue on to Crater Lake and the trailhead, which most people would do, or if you want to be punished like me and my friends, you take this way and head up to Willow Pass. I want to take a minute to say I really love it out here. While every day of this trip has had its awesome moments, today was the day that really put it over the top. Just absolutely had that holy shit factor the day that made me decide I'm gonna come back here at least a couple of times. Just, I'm in love with the place. While it makes for some slow hiking, I appreciate how rugged the terrain is out here. I love the diversity of the scenery, the dramatic peaks, just everything about it, freaking awesome. We've seen a lot fewer people than I thought we would. We've not seen more than half a dozen people on any given day. Not a ton of wildlife sightings, we did hear some elk going crazy on day number one, and we have heard a lot of pikas in the rocks, and I've spotted one or two. It's currently around 4 p.m. I'm hoping we can make it up to Willow Pass around 5 and get to camp around 5.30. Tomorrow's going to be our hike out day. It's about eight and a half miles and pretty much all downhill.
So I finally summited Willow Pass. Here's what it's like looking down the other side. And I believe that's Willow Lake down there where we hope to camp. Gonna head down there pretty soon. Here's a shot looking across the other side. There's actually still a bit of sunlight left. The clouds just have us in the shade. look up there you can just barely see the guys coming down the trail it's under about six inches of snow for the most part thankfully some previous travelers left us some nice footprints to follow it's not too bad this is some wild landscape out here I'd really hope to make it down to the lake before we lost the sun but we're about an hour or two behind where I'd like to be it's just how it goes sometimes. Finally getting down here to Willow Lake. There's actually a lot of small lakes and ponds down in this area. It's really beautiful. How stunning is this view from camp? It's around 645 and we just found a nice camp spot here by Willow Lake. We're running low on daylight and still have a lot to do, so I'll keep this brief. Today's hike was awesome. Challenging, but awesome. Wide open views, big mountain passes, and this whole area here down by Willow Lake was a nice surprise. One of the coolest spots I've probably ever camped. I'm going to call this the end of day number four. See you in the morning. Good morning, it is day number five. Unfortunately, this is the last day of the trip. Last night was actually pretty comfortable, chilly, but not as cold as the last few nights. Even though we're camped over a thousand feet higher, we're pretty close to 12,000 feet up here. The plan for today, once we leave camp, we have a little bit of a climb. I believe the ridge we have to go over is around 12,600 feet. And then we're taking the trail that follows East Snowmass Creek back to the trailhead. It's around eight and a half miles total. I haven't really seen many photos or anything of the trail we'll be on today, so I'm hoping it's a pretty good scenery today. I do remember a few weeks ago, I was checking out the satellite view and it looked pretty promising.
Camp is all packed up. Time to start climbing. Right in the middle of this shot is Willow Lake where we camped last night. Right around center screen, I believe, is the high point of our ascent. Hasn't been too bad so far. We just made it to the top of this pass that isn't named on the map I have here, but I know I've seen it labeled elsewhere. So I'm gonna check a few more sources for that. Looks like we're right around 12,700 feet. Here's a look down the valley we'll be hiking out through today. Pretty awesome. We stopped and had a nice little snack break up here. It's a little bit cold and windy, but not terrible. On paper, our hike out looks pretty easy, but we'll see how that plays out. We've got to start trekking through some snow to get down off this pass. You can see the guys up there traversing this snow field we had to take to get down off the pass. I love this kind of stuff, but they may be cursing me right now.
Here's a look at where I just came from. And down into those trees over there is where I'm headed. Out these fall colors in the sunlight. Brilliant. All right, guys, it's going on five. I'm almost back to the car. Today's been another terrific day. Waking up at Willow Lake was awesome, and the views from the top of our pass were just spectacular. Even though I've kind of been looking down the same valley most of the day today, it's a scene that never gets old. Love the big open rolling hills and the mix of aspens and evergreens, and I really love the big towering red rock walls. Just killer scenery. Coming out here in October was a little bit of a challenge and a learning experience, mainly the cold nights and the short days. And I knew that coming into it, but being out here firsthand really puts it into a more vivid perspective. And as I gain some more backpacking experience, I want to branch out and do more trips during the shoulder season. Really like this part of Colorado, and I've really enjoyed being out here hiking with the guys. We're planning a trip to hike the High Sierra Trail next summer. And this gave us a pretty good chance to do a test run and kind of see how everybody's hiking styles mesh together. I feel like it was a positive experience for all of us. This is gonna be the end of the trip. If you enjoyed this video, please take a minute to like, comment, or subscribe. I always enjoy hearing feedback from you guys and I'll catch you next time.